I used football as a motivation for the kids to do their academics. That is how football started with me. So right now what has happened is that my hobby overtook my profession. Teaching was my profession. Football was my hobby. That's what I used to use to motivate the children to come to school. To, because some of the schools that I taught at Methodist and even at Catholic schools, the children needed additional motivation to attend the academics because we were demanding that they, they do extra studies. So I had to go and find methods of getting them to concentrate on the, the academics as well as, so I use football as the, as the incentive. Yes, Sardin has been an innovator in the sport of football for as long as I know. Since I've been to the primary school, he's been known as a PE teacher, you know. He's been somebody that's been entwined with football, you know. He's, he's, been, he's been there. He's been having a um, lot of success, had a lot of players who made a national team, and some players who were on his tutelage, who played for the clubs they have went on, and for the career football in some way. I don't think, or be afraid of it, in my opinion, in my knowledge, I don't think there are a lot of people, there are a handful of people that may have dedicated their life you know, to youth development in football. I think you know, that he has been doing very, a lot with very little. You know? um, we turn and look at the sport and you see a lot of the younger, younger players and, and you have a lot of development in, in, in what in his club is doing. He's going into a different spectrum right now, you know, with his club, a different concept. And to be honest, I think that generally he's interested in developing the sport. So for me, I think he's one of the biggest vanguards, one of the biggest names in, in youth development football. I have sent up to 12 people to college in the States. Three or four of them have started a branch of the, the club in New York called System 3 New York. And another group is, in, is presently in colleges in Texas and in Carolina. So that is, that is one trust of the club to help the kids in the academics and help them after um, secondary school and college here to further their education. The academy has also started um, to help with the sport in primary, in preschool, primary school, and even the secondary schools. So presently, the academy helps a few of the secondary schools, primarily the girls in the schools, with their football program. We also do the PE programs in some of the primary schools like St. Mary's and Sugar Mill Academy. We have been very fortunate to get assistance from the business community for projects that we participate in. Quite a few of the local community, local businesses, assisted with the boys going to England. All right, they saw the benefit of the boys being exposed, so they assisted. And I wouldn't start naming individual companies, but we have been very fortunate. We have been fortunate to get the assistance of the SVG Football Federation to assist in some of the projects that we do. Um, but there are fundamental needs that are still need, um, still um, unresolved. Almost every day you have a crisis, a semi-crisis. Almost every day you have to handle some issue with the kids because you have personalities from all different backgrounds. You have people who have all different needs that you have to solve. Most of it, of course, is financial. A lot of them don't have the food and nutrition that's required. But a lot of it have, have other roots. Whatever money I have, I spend it on the kids. Any money I have. It goes back into the academy. Hopefully at some point we will come out ahead and we would have um, we'd have a, a bright future.
But right now we are still struggling. We are struggling for equipment. We are struggling with some of the personnel and paying the personnel to ensure that they are regular. That they are here. Because very often the kids just need somebody on time there to take care of their, their needs. You know. And they would come and play. I have found that over the years. It's not always the most qualified coach that makes the best junior coach. You just need somebody that cares and the kids identify with them. When you look at the little under 11s and the under 13s who play so well and who are so enthusiastic, you can't give up. And then those that go to college or those that are willing to. So I don't allow the, the, the one or two negatives to overshadow all the positives that are around. And there are quite a lot of positives with the academy. Right. We have lovely talented students. 